The nice thing about neurosurgery is that we're always evolving in our technology as well. So many of the ailments that we treat, including uh, many of the ailments of the spine, we have uh, some really neat new things coming around the corner, including intraoperative uh, x-ray machines and radiographics. We have a device that we have at Baltimore Washington Medical Center that is a, an intraoperative uh, CT scanner that we can use to real-time look at the spine while we're operating on it. It can be very important when you're changing the anatomy through surgical techniques. So as we are operating, we can actually see what we're doing so that we can remove things that we need to get out of the system in order to make the patient better. At BWMC, University of Maryland, we have the most amazing image-guided computer-assisted navigation, I mean GPS on steroids. And so when we operate on patients, whether it's the brain or the spine, we can target specific areas. If we're taking out a brain tumor, we can take the handle of the instrument and put it right over the skull before we even start the surgery and know exactly where the tumor is, how close it is to the surface, how deep it is in, what critical structures are nearby, and then we can navigate through different corridors in the brain uh, based on our training to make the surgery as safe as humanly possible. And that to me is just amazing that we're able to do that here uh, in Glen Burnie, which I love that you know we're doing these sophisticated surgeries uh, locally when I'm somebody who's local and grew up and I don't know that I ever would have believed that would have happened although when I came here and talked to a whole lot of people about doing this I think people th were excited about that that could happen and I love that there's that vision and then now you know it's this reality that we're doing it for the spine the same thing we use image guidance and we're um, that technology continues to get better and better where we're able to, if someone needs to have hardware put in, I try to be very conservative about putting hardware in on metal, but if you need to have metal put in, there is a way we can use computer assisted, assisted guidance just to show us exactly where the hardware should go to minimize it going where it's not supposed to go. And that really has been a huge change in neurosurgery you know, that helps patients just because the surgery is safer and quicker and more efficient, less invasive.